Let's look at a topic today called separable equations. Um, separable equations are a special class of something we call a differential equation. A differential equation is an equation involving derivatives. Okay, and the solutions to differential equations are functions. So normally you'll see an equation and you're solving for a point. For example, you might have something like y is equal to 3x minus 5. And then, you know, you're solving for the point x, y. That's what you were used to in the past. What we're doing in section 9.3 is we have function equations that involve derivatives like y, dy dx is equal to k times y. So in a differential equation like this, you could see it's a differential equation because our equation involves a derivative. And the solutions to these differential equations, namely, what is y? Well, y is really going to represent a function of some sort. Okay, So we have an entire course dedicated to solving differential equations called Math 55. But uh, we, in this section, we want to study separable equations. So a separable equation is something we call a, a first-order differential equation. A first-order differential equation just means you have the first derivative in there. Okay, And a first-order differential equation in which the expression dy dx can be factored as follows. So we're going to be able to write our differential equation as dy dx equal to, and then we're going to be able to write this as g of x times f of y. So I hope you can see why we call it a separable equation, because really our derivative dy dx can be separated into a function of x times a function of y. Okay, so this would be a function of x, and this guy is a function of y, and you can sort of separate those two. All right, so here's what we're going, here's how we're going to try to solve this. So if possible, we're going to try to rewrite this function as dy dx being equal to some function in terms of x in the numerator and some function of y in the denominator. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically regard dy dx as differentials and we're going to separate these, or we're almost going to treat them as a numerator and denominator of a fraction. And we're going to do this idea of like cross multiplying. So when we do that, we're going to get an equation that looks something like h of y times dy is equal to g of x times dx. In other words, we want all the y's on one side, like we have over here. And we want all the x's on the other side, which you know we can see right here. After we do that, we're going to integrate both sides of the equation. Okay. So let's take a look at an example together. Let's take a look at example one here. So as you can see, we have a differential equation because it involves a derivative. The solutions are going to be functions, so we're looking for like you know y is equal to something. And luckily for us, we actually already have the situation that we were describing up above. Namely, we have the numerator is like our g of x here, and the denominator is like our h of y. Okay, so we were hoping that we could write it like this. In example one, which is the first example we're seeing together, we already have it like that. 
so we are going to regard the left hand side as differentials and we can rewrite that equation as y squared dy is equal to x squared dx. Now we can integrate both sides. So let's put an integral sign here and an integral sign here. And we find the antiderivatives. So on the left hand side, we're going to get a y cubed over 3 plus some constant c1. On the right hand side, we're going to get x cubed over 3 plus some constant c2. Uh, let me move the c1 to the right hand side. So this makes uh, y cubed over 3 equal to x cubed over 3 plus c2 minus c1. And then I can, uh, I can multiply both sides by 3. When I multiply both sides by 3, I get y cubed is equal to x cubed plus 3 times c2 minus c1. And I can take the cube root of both sides. So I'm going to get y is equal to x cubed plus 3 times c2 minus c1 all to the one-third power. All right. Now, um, the last thing we're going to do is this whole piece right here is really just a, some constant. So we're going to just call that equal to some constant k, some constant. And our final answer is going to be the function y is equal to x cubed plus this constant k to the one-third power. All right. So let me highlight our final answer here like this. As you can see, this differential equation gives us a family of functions. And you know, k will change, and that's going to give us the, the family. So I'll just wrap this up by mentioning that this is a family of functions. In other words, we have different values of k. All right. Okay, everyone. Take care.